Angry Joe here, and I'm with Dan, the producer for Sleeping Dogs. And um, and it, basically, this game is essentially, you probably already know the story, it's Back from the Dead, right? Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the journey of this game and, and how, it's, how it's evolved and what it is right now? Sure. So, um, you know, from the beginning, we wanted uh, to create a really new game that sort of, you know, revives the open world genre a little bit, where we really focus on sort of core mechanics, so that the fighting, the shooting, and the driving, you know, your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Uh, so it was a new IP uh, right from the beginning. Uh, for a while, it was branded as True Crime, yeah, Hong Kong, nice. and, uh, and now it's Sleeping Dogs, and we're working with Square Enix on it. So it, uh, it's been great. I mean, it's, you know, definitely it's been a journey, but uh, the additional time and uh, working with Square Enix has really allowed us to refine our our hand-to-hand -hand martial arts combat it's allowed us to uh, bolster our feature set and nothing was lost actually it just everything's been added more it's like a blessing in disguise right it, it's been great i mean the additional times really allowed us to polish the game to make it what it is today okay excellent and i'm looking here at, at your a title character i believe somebody at square on enix owes me some money for your posters <laughs> if you look at the likeness Tell us a little bit about who you're going to be in the game and uh, you know what his story is. So you're playing as Wei Shen. Uh, he's an undercover cop and he's been sent to Hong Kong to try and take down the triads. Basically his backstory, he, he grew up in, uh, in Hong Kong in the tough parts city. He got involved with gangs, his sister got into drugs and uh, so his parents took him away, moved him to the States uh, where he grew up, became a cop in San Francisco. But because of his ties uh, to Hong Kong and a lot of gang members there, He's been asked to join a task force to go undercover and try and take down the head of the triads. So it, you know, it's it's a very unique experience, especially an open world game that you get to kind of play both sides as a cop and also as a triad uh, enforcer. Excellent, excellent. Sounds good. So will you be getting some of the perks of being a triad? Uh, yeah, you definitely will. You know, people show you the the respect when you go into stores, <laughs> give you discounts, things like that. And as the game progresses, you gain more, we call it face, which is basically your reputation. And as your face increases, you get more discounts for things. You get uh, accessibility to meet new people, uh, to go into stores that you wouldn't have uh, earlier been able to. Now, is this a complete open world, or would you say it's more of a linear adventure that's more story focused, or is it a blend of the two? How would you describe it? I think we've taken the best of both worlds. So it's definitely, an, it's an open world experience in terms of there's, uh, you know, over a hundred different side missions, quests, dates, things that you can be doing, uh, and this huge world to kind of go and explore, find a bunch of different collectibles like health shrines, lock boxes, uh, jade statues. Uh, so we have all those elements. Uh, we've included as well an upgrade system, so the player at the beginning of the game is quite different than the player at the end, that he uh, learns new martial arts moves, his health can increase, he gets some new uh, items he can use, like a Slim Jim, so you don't alert the cops when you break into cars. Um, but all of that with a really tight story and that you know draws the player so you get to know more about the character you understand what it's like to be an undercover cop and sort of the turmoil that he goes through and conflicted loyalties so is is there a multiplayer or is it primarily focused on a single player experience it's a the main gameplay is a single player experience but what we've done is incorporated an online um, multiplayer like stats challenges so that you can go and at the end of every mission we give you a score based on how well you played it as a cop and also how well you played it as a triad okay. and so those obviously uh, can be conflicting but it's possible to get the perfect score and kind of combine both of those and uh, all those st scores get uploaded to a global server and you know you can then compare and see how well you did on that mission compared to anyone else we also have all the open world elements like uh, longest wheelie, longest clean car chase, biggest jump, and all of those get, again, uploaded to the server, compared against all your friends as well, and you can issue someone a challenge. So I can be like, Angry Joe, you know, I just got the longest wheelie, I challenge you to beat my time, and you can, you know, if you do, I get an in-game notification telling me I've just been beat. Sounds a little like the auto log system in Need for Speed games, and those have proved to be really popular. But uh, you know, it's a little bit like leaderboards, but no real, actual like uh, uh, online multiplayer or cooperative or anything like that. No, we really wanted to focus on sort of the single player experience first. Make sure we get that nailed and get that really tight, and uh, yeah, and then think about multiplayer maybe in the future. How long would you say the experience is in, in terms of like gameplay hours? 
the core story is probably close to about 20 hours a playthrough, 20 plus hours, and then, like I said, over 100 different pieces of secondary content, jobs, uh, dates, all those things. It makes for a very big game. Now, is it more like a dual experience? Can you play through the whole way as just a straight cop, or, or are the triad parts sort of mixed in in order to get him into this underground world? Yeah, he definitely has to do triad elements, and, you know, that's where we start seeing a, a lot of the sort of the conflicted, um, you know, turmoil that he's going through, basically, where he's asked to, you know, he, he's sworn to uphold the law, yet to keep his cover, he's got to do things that progressively are getting worse and worse, and so that whole gray area becomes... Uh, pretty unclear for him. I like that, I like that. So what would you say is the the best feature of your game? You know, I've, I've looked at a lot, and a lot of people say the martial arts in it is pretty cool, uh, but what would you feel is the best feature that stands out, that makes this game stand out from the rest? I think it's, it's probably the, the hand-to-hand -hand martial arts combat. We've really spent a lot of time creating a fluid, a system, sorry, that's really fluid. Uh, you know, with just a couple of button presses, you're able to do light, heavy attacks, chain those together to do combos, there's a counter system, and as well you're able to take an enemy and use the environment against him. So take a guy and uh, take his head, slam it into a car door, throw him into the trunk of a car, um, grab a guy, put his face onto a barbecue grill. So there's all these different elements in the, the world, open world itself that you can use to kind of turn the tables against your enemy. <laughs> like context sensitive stuff is it is it you said it's not one button combat there's different combinations like would you liken it to a, a batman arkham uh, asylum kind of system or is it a little bit more uh, substantial a similar sort of system where you know it's it's uh one button to do light and heavy attacks and holding it does a heavy attack tap does a light attack and then another button for counters and another button to do a grapple and so from a grapple to you know two uh, two light attacks and a, and a heavy attack we'll do an arm break so, awesome. So it, the, the game sounds great. And uh, when does it come out? It comes out August 14th on uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Windows PC. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, I, I mean, I think that uh, the extra time and effort put into the game is definitely going to pay off. You know, when it was true crime, I was a little bit mixed on it. I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about another true crime game. But now that, it, it, that it's its own thing, you're kind of released from some of the restrictions that you might have had. So really looking forward to this one, man. Have a good uh, day. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.